sound like Probably would. What's up, guys? <laughs> John, say hi to the camera. John Padua, Cole O'Neill. So we are currently uh, setting up for Liberty Canyon. We're here a couple days early, so it gives us plenty of time to dig in. Right now, we're just unpacking our hooches. Got my stuff right here. Got Cole's stuff. Got John's stuff right here. We have fine, the best stuff. seriously, best. He has all the mint stuff. Cole has like. I can't hear you over my US. Cole, show me your flak jacket. The review is to come soon. It's not a uh, M55 and it's not a three quarters. It is actually a. 52A. Hmm. 52A. That will focus in. Uh, we have our C Ratch right here. That will goddamn focus. There we go. Our weapons rack. Helmet so far. We got a VC flag. Let's see, we got Ian Spunk. He's not here yet. Boots, M5s. Ton of mint M61 gear sitting in the ground. <laughs> mint M3s. Mint. Everything's mint that John owns. He refuses to own anything not mint. Uh, the only thing not mint Cole has the bare GI minimum. With he's fucking. I think he's going for photographer or some shit. He got a nice ass camera. You want want to use my camera too? I'm uh, gonna go sure. for yeah. correspondent. He's got his chucks on. His nice Converse's. Mm. Mm. So we're gonna keep on packing, and we will talk to everyone soon. Peace, dude. There's duct tape on. I need my phone. Oh yeah, I'm gonna go. Uh, I'm gonna go film the inside of that radial area. All right, so we're still setting up, and we are going over the inside to the. the John, what should I call this? The telecommunications, whatever. Talk. The fucking talk area. Here's the entrance. Oh, there's... I don't know if you guys can see. So we have a gun rack right here. Just full of fucking ARs. Radios. Grenades. Here we have a shit ton of ammo, fucking ammo cans. We have a 50 cal. Claymore bags filled with actual claymores. If you can see that right there. Actual claymores. Mines. More mortar crates. These mortar crates are all full with flares, parachute flares. You name it. A couple PRCs right here. Nice PRC setup. We got accessory bags, the antennas, signal panels, the whole nine yards on both of them. Look over here. We have some sea rats. All kinds of. I don't even know what half of this shit is. Field desks. All kinds of radios. Pretty much. These are all handsets here. I don't know if you guys can see. These are all handsets right here. I mean, I've never seen an area this badass. This is basically like Hollywood level. I mean, look, look there's, there's three pricks right next to each other. I mean, I've never seen anything this kind of level. I mean, this is... This is like a $30,000 room. I mean, come on. All working. Nick Diaz uses all of this equipment. He is pretty much the master when it comes to any Vietnam stuff. He puts realism in where you can't tell if you are actually in Vietnam or if you're in an airsoft fight. One more look of the telecommunications area. I mean, we have actual people in here communicating with our squads. You know, I'll issue each squad a PRC-77. You talk to the squads. If you need, like, parachute flares where you are so you can see in the middle of the night... Or if you need fire support, or if you need backup, or if you need a medivac, you call up here. They'll send out a deuce and a half, or they'll send out mortars, or anything. So, it's pretty badass. More tents down there. We got a medical area. We're still doing some setting up, so we have a lot of work to do. So, John, say hi. What are you looking at there, John? Uh, my cock collection. Okay, yeah, it's John's cock collection. Here's Ho Chi Minh's. Here's we're looking for morphine. No, we're looking for bandages. <laughs> no, I think this is what's in here, maybe, but larger. There's some cool Oh, here we go. Here. We have homo spray. I'm going the homo spray. We have homo spray. 
It is the 60s after all. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> it's all pink on the inside. Ew, am I pink now? No, it's all... The fuck? Oh, Yo, your hands are all pink now. That's oh no, that's from the fake blood. That's what from the fucking tap on. What? I don't use soap. Yeah, we know that, but <laughs> for people who might want to. People who get near you might want to. You hear that, guys? When you're near me in Liberty Canyon, you can toss me a bar of soap. So yeah, that's about all for now. We're going to keep doing some more unpacking. So, uh, party on. Okay, we're short of cheating right now. We might be looking for the VC base early, so it is getting nighttime. So you guys think we're gonna find it tonight? I'm gonna find Jesus. What we got there, Cole? Uh, I'm gonna say coyote or something. Ew! He fucking licked it. He licked shit. They're that way. <laughs> that was the nastiest fucking thing. As I've we ever can seen. tell by the direction of the shit, it must have come up the animal at an angle. We're about to call him Poplin Mouth. You Poplin Mouth. <laughs> <laughs> Continued success. It's your responsibility to know and understand the rules of the Chew Hoy program. Guys, Cole made an outstanding point. Why, why can't I get lung cancer from smoking? Why can't any of us get lung cancer? It wasn't that no one knew about it in the 60s. And we're in the 60s right now. And lung cancer was not invented. So if I was to get lung cancer, that would make me a farb. And I am not a fucking farb. Are you sure about that? Yeah, so we're going to hot box the fuck out of this tent with all the flaps down tonight. It's going to be lit. Lit. Which way does the Davis go? It's not Davis. It's your lightweight rucksack belt. Yeah, for the lightweight rucksack, I do not have. Okay. This belt is more rare than a lightweight rucksack, yet he insists on having the belt than the actual rucksack. I've bought in every single thing but the lightweight. I have a radio, I have the M5, I got the M3, got the belt. Uh, just don't have the rucksack. But... It's because Nate. Nate wants him to get one so bad, I think John just doesn't want to get one out of spite. I'm talking to guys about it, alright? <laughs> say something to Nate. You should be watching this, say something. No. Hope you're having fun. I'm not here. Alright, let's roll. Tactical toad. He's fucking weak, dude. Dude, just tape your cable out of your suspended. Right, we're in the deuce and a half right now. Uh, Nick just told us the inside of his trailer. It's so, every single thing you can ima imagine is in there. It's got pilot survival. What was it? The jacket? The pilot survival? It's uh, it's like the pilot. From the bazooka. Uh, there's a there's an M20 super bazooka here. Nick has a um. Well, you guys need help carrying more shit. Nope. He he has a um. It's like a pilot vest that you you wear when you eject, or you just wear it if you have to eject. Uh, you got all your shit on you. Has the pilot's knife in there. Sadly. Rocco might tape it at some point. Probably. Yeah, yeah, the Huey helmet. The Talk about the shotgun. Talk about the shotgun. He had the, what, what, what are they called? The, 1887. 1887. He had an 1887 shotgun with the bayonet lug. I've seen them before, but not with the bayonet lug. I mean, they are just. They were issued a World War II, but they had to do the civilian ones because they didn't have. I mean, World War One. They didn't have enough of those in World War One. Okay. So, guys, we'll uh, go back to our hooch and keep setting them up. <laughs>
Pictures of like, like I put pictures. Uh, Dylan. Dylan.